Hi gang, Steve here. This YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, has recently gotten over 10,000 subscribers, which in the life of a channel is a significant milestone. So, as a thank you, I thought I'd give you a behind the scenes look of a different kind. Stuff that hasn't made it into the videos yet. Which, as you'll see, is sometimes just as cool as the stuff that has. This is my attempt to reverse engineer an electric world. All I had to go on was a silent video with just a demo showing you just what you see here of mine. While it does work a bit, it doesn't turn continuously. I powered it using my homemade high voltage DC power supply. I concluded that whoever came up with it was using a high voltage AC power supply, which I don't have. So I stopped working on it. Incidentally, if you remove the outer stator, then it spins nicely as an ion wind rotor, but I'd already done a video about that. This is a work in progress for an ionocraft, basically an aluminum fly screen with a thin wire up here. It's supposed to fly upward using an ion wind type of jet but I don't have it flying just yet. And here's a test in the dark, showing you the wicked curtains of ions and other molecules, like ozone, between the wire and the fly screen. The camera shutter speed was set to 15 frames per second to capture this. I'll likely have to try a few different versions before it flies. Some things are just too unimpressive to show, though the things themselves are an accomplishment and interesting, like this homemade electret. For those who don't know, an electret is like a magnet. But instead of the material's atomic arrangement creating a permanent magnetic field, it creates a permanent electric field. Think of a permanently charged capacitor. But all it could do is make the leaves of this electroscope move. They're hard to make, but not much to look at. I do have a full write-up on my website though, rimstar.org. The link to the webpage is in the description below this video. Also in the not impressive enough category was my attempt to get a piezoelectric barbecue igniter to charge this metal ball and hold the charge until you touch someone with it and shock them. It did charge up, but not very efficiently, and not shockingly enough. And removing the ball and just touching the end of the wire while you press the trigger does the job anyway. So I stopped working on it. And another work in progress is lighting a compact fluorescent light bulb using just a AA battery and the Jewel Thief circuit. I'm still working on the right windings for the coil around my toroid for that one. And there's a lot of time consuming winding involved. Anyhow, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it very much and will continue to put out videos of things that both you and I find interesting, informative, and entertaining. And as usual, see my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for all of my videos. That includes my video about making spinning blades, basically rotors that spin using ion wind, another on making a speaker using just a window pane or a can and a piece of homemade Rochelle salt piezoelectric crystal, and another on how to make a jewel thief that uses a dead AA battery to light an LED. And once again, thanks for subscribing. See you soon.